Texas and Amon G. Carter Stadium at any time the TCU Horned Frogs take the field. They have a standard, a legacy to live up to. One that was established by the likes of Sling and Sammy Ball, Davey O'Brien, and LaDainian Tomlinson. What a showdown we have in store. A couple of Big 12 teams squaring off in what could prove to be a huge game. As we'll see, the Houston Cougars taking on the TCU Horn Frog. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Horn Frogs will kick it away to start us off. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Houston's offense will get the first possession of the game. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football, finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it go, and just, you can trust him. Everything is available. But you're not playing with one behind your back. You've got all guns blazing. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Leaves it with the back. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. And to keep this opening drive going, they'll need to convert third and one. Smith wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man! He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And David, I know there's a part of you that wonders what if had you played tight end. You and I have been out in the field pregame before. We've been spinning it around with your athleticism. I know you wonder what it would have been like to go make plays like that. I, I tell you what, it, I do wonder what if now, Jesse, because now you... Oh, it's a fumble. The defense grabs it, and they're going the other way. I tell you, honestly, I don't know what that player could have done to hold on to that football. That defender absolutely popped him. He knocked him into next week. There was no chance he was holding on to that ball. Offense set on first down. From the gun, the ground game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You see all this movement in football now, all the stemming, the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. On second down, he'll fire. Safe completion on the screen. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time and get to that first down marker. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends, and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon, and you're seeing that here early. The Horned Frogs want to pick up the tempo. Dropping back, it's Hoover. Fires to the wideout. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. Wow, that quarterback is lucky there. If you're going to take a chance like that on third down in your end of the field, you better be right, because that should have been picked and returned for a touchdown. This offense is lucky now they're getting a chance to punt this ball away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. After that last drive, he came back to the sideline, and the coach probably said, you dropped it and you didn't pick it up? 
Come on, get on the ball, David. No, nah, that's not what he said. He said, you're doing a great job. Just keep your head up. Yo, he got blasted. You've got to hold on to the football, Palmer. Turnovers to side games, those are big plays. And it's tough on him, too, because he knows he let his offense down on that last drive. So you know that guy's eager and anxious to come out here and make a play. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. The gift to the back. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. From the shotgun, the inside give. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm as we start the second quarter. They'll keep it on the ground. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to run for it. The Cougars have a first down. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. The Cougars are on the move. Looking to move it through the air. Throwing right. It's complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Always nice to have that security blanket of the tight end. And it's nice to have a tight end that can line up in different areas of the field, too. It's not always going to be in a three-point stance. He can sometimes be in the backfield. You could flex him out into the slot. They might even try to put this guy out at wide receiver in the split end position and see what he can do there, because this guy is a weapon. And a great job by the linebacker. You can tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage. Get up there in the line of scrimmage. See it. Diagnose it. Get in the backfield. Get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Last play didn't go well. It leaves him with second and 11. Give to the running back. And the defense makes a big hit and knocks him down. Well, the defense wasn't expecting that. They had a lot of guys back in the coverage. That was second and a lot of yards to go, and they got caught off guard. Not enough guys in the box to control that running back. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. They're about to snap it for the ninth play on this drive, and they need a yard on third down. Smith dropping to pass. He looks that one in nicely. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning two. That was beautiful. And the Cougars with the first and 10. Use the play fake now to throw. 
Working that left side now. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. He'll take that completion. That completion leaves us with second and medium. A shot toward the end zone. And it's a touchdown, but hold on just a second. We'll have to see what the flag is about. So a little too much contact through the P.I. flag. They'll decline that one, and the touchdown stands. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Offense getting set for first down. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. It's caught downfield. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Line getting set on second down. Looking to throw, it's Hoover. Working the middle, it's complete. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. They'll throw it on first down. Catch in the middle. It's cooked. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. It's complete on the right side. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. Looking to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And they decide to trot out the kicker. Visualizing the right ball flight from 39 yards out in the right hash. It is good! So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And holding on to the lead, the offense will simply take a knee, and that's how we will wrap up the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a first-rate game so far today in Fort Worth. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third-down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, back to Amon G. Carter Stadium and our outstanding broadcast team. He'll start the return inside his five. 
Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Paul, now use it against you. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend on the ground it's cook they bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one great job by the defense everybody firing off the ball hitting their guys holding their gaps running to the football nowhere to go and the horned frogs come to the line in the hurry up Looking for a man. It's Hoover. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls incomplete. The Horned Frogs will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll try to field the putt and bring it back. He couldn't find much running room there. Didn't get a lot of blocking, and he'll step out of bounds. The Houston offense ready to go back to work. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. But, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Just a short pass to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him. On third down, he drops the throw. Got it in the middle. It's Carr. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. the play fake on first down to throw and it's incomplete if you're going to take a hit like that you might as well hang on to the ball hey man if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's throwing the tight end you better be physical nice job with the hit forcing that incompletion second and ten after the previous play they'll run it from the gun Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting all these blocks, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next game. Houston will snap it in the red zone. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Grabbed over the middle, it's Williams. He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. Really nice job there of the quarterback reading coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. Houston has it with a first and goal. They'll try to run it in. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. trying to pay it off on second and goal.
Tries again to get it in. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing on the play? Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming down here. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. That's the end of the quarter, and Houston has the lead. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Third and goal, and they'll try to pass it in. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. After that incompletion on third and short, it's going to be an interesting decision for the head coach because I know he believes in his guys to go get it here on fourth down and pad the lead. But if you kick a field goal, you make it a two-possession game here in the second half, and I think that's the right decision. It's good. Well, that's a huge kick right there because now the opponent has to score a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. That put so much pressure on the opponent now. Nice job by the special teams going out and executing in a big move. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. TCU has it back, and the Horned Frogs go on offense. On the move, it's Cook. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. I'll tell you what, a few more runs like that, and defensively you start thinking, more guys in the box, more big guys. I better stop this guy because he's unbelievable. Just a great job breaking off the big run, and the OC is going to give him the ball some more. And the Horned Frogs moving quickly to the line. Comes out throwing on first down. And wings it incomplete. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot. And these teams are just struggling. I mean, the offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working. Ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. After the incompletion, here comes second and 10 from the 32. Back to throw. It's Hoover. Unleashes one. And you'd like to think this sophomore wouldn't make a habit of trying to force passes into double coverage like that. And that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws for the tight end. That is just a sideline clinic. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Off play action on first down. Quickly out to the tight end. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. Moving quickly, trying to rattle the D. He's going to pass on second down. Complete to the right. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail, and that wide receiver comes back, and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. In search of that tying touchdown, they've moved the chains a couple of times. It's first and ten again. Oh 
Leaves it with the running back. They make the stop as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28, a gain of four. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Looking to pass. It's Hoover. Takes a hit as he fires. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It's at this point of the game where you've got to have great pass protection if you're going to come back and win. You're only down one possession here. You need to give this guy time. They just weren't able to do it on that last one. That's why it's incomplete. Trying play action. Throws to the tight end. Can't make the play on the interception. And, man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And here we go. Down to score. They'll go for it on fourth down. Throws to the wideout. Makes the catch. He's got enough. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. The Horned Frogs will hustle to the line. From the red zone, looking for a man. Fires to the wideout. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. They're going to throw it again. Gets it out quickly. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Yeah, we don't have any plays left. You know, the clock winding down. We got to make something happen. These kind of plays are just crippling. They, they will absolutely ruin what chance you have to push the ball down the field later on and save timeouts. And so we got to get that engine going here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And he's got it. Touchdown, Hard Rock. Great job with the score. And listen, right here at this point in the game, there's still going to be time left. My defense is going to have to make a stand regardless. I'm going to kick the extra point because the field goal still beats me if I go for a two-point conversion. Ready to try the point after. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. The returner is going to try to see what he can get. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. The Houston offense comes onto the field. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do. So tempo is going to be important. you got to go fast. you just got to make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, try to maximize this time and get in a position to win. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Smith wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Timeout on the field, and we've got a dandy all tied up late in the fourth. He wants to throw. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. Touchdown, Cougars. And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. 
and they're able to score on a drive where they had to have it this late in the game, and they look to their playmaker on the outside to win that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Big-time moments. Who do you trust as a quarterback? You could tell this was a big moment. He threw it to his big play wide receiver. He knew he would come down to it, and now the big play in the fourth quarter for the touchdown. Getting set for the point after. Is on for the, extra point. the extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they put the points on the board with that 37-yard touchdown pass. They'll need to be very sound here, limit this return, and put this game in the hands of their defense to salt it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Wants to throw on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Wide open downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the brain trust will go to work. To the air on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Passing situation. What do I want to do? I want to bring more guys that can cover guys on the outside. Nice job by this defense. Running the dime package. More DBs on the field to match up with all these speedy wide receivers. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. A strike downfield. And he's brought down after a huge completion. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. They're working that left side. Tremendous awareness to get what he could and get out of bounds. And now the offense trying to score one late. He knew exactly what they needed there, made the play, and got out of bounds to stop the clock. And you got to keep this turbo mode on, right? We got to keep going fast. The clock's running down. Fourth quarter, need a score. Great execution to get the first down. We need a lot more of this on this drive. Scanning the field, it's Hoover. He finds his man. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Second and goal coming up. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. He spikes it, clock stops as they try to rally late. Fourth down and goal. down in the final period in a tight game and they will go for it on fourth and goal he wants to throw it trying to get to it he'll go down in a bit of an unusual way to bring this game to a close